I don't know what I got going on down at school here, but I need some units here ASAP. The first frantic police calls for help arriving at Franklin Regional High School revealed just how confusing and chaotic Wednesday's attack was. One individual has a knife. Alex. Police say that individual was Alex Ribel, a sophomore who is now charged with attempted homicide and aggravated assault. I got a stab in the back, um, stab in the back and a uh, bruised lung. Student Brett Hurt recounted five terror-filled minutes when a student armed with two eight-inch kitchen knives slashed his way through everyone in his path. When uh, someone said the, they saw blood or something, everyone just started screaming. And then, but when I got hit, everyone noticed and just started running in different directions. As a community tries to heal, investigators are looking for answers, trying to figure out what caused the violent rampage and whether it could have been prevented. I think anytime something like this happens, you know, you take, you, you regroup, you critique what happened, you review your security plans. Rival's attorney says the 16-year-old comes from a good family and that his parents are as puzzled as anyone. Hurt isn't sure when he'll be able to return to that hallway where he was stabbed, but has a wish for his attacker. And I just hope that one day he can, everyone, he, he can, I can forgive him and everyone else who got hurt can forgive him. Forgiveness that could come with time, but right now a community deals with both the physical and emotional hurt from a senseless attack. Alex Ribel is being held without bail. His next court appearance is scheduled for April 30th. His attorney has asked for a psychiatric evaluation to see if he's competent to stand trial. In Murraysville, Pennsylvania, Chris Pallone, NBC News.